Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, this is Lee, and we just bought a new house. Unfortunately, the microphone didn't work here, but I'm gonna walk through the house and show you just how much work I've got to do today. All these rooms have been plastered and they look stunning, but what I need to do now is I need to sand them and I have to do all of it by hand. So I've got to do our bedroom. I've got to go in here. I've also got to do Johnny's bedroom. There's lots of different nooks and crannies. I've got to go all by the wood. So I'm gonna need a lot of muscle power to do it. That's why I'm showing my muscles and they're huge. And I'm gonna use this sandpaper, which is a handheld one. And then I have a wall scraper one, which is extended. So that's my tools for the day. See this little scratch in the wall? That's what I'm trying to get out. So there's all of them everywhere. I'm trying to make it look smooth so I can paint it. I've got to get up in the ceilings as well, do all along those gaps. And I've also got to go downstairs and do down there. So I have so much sanding to do and there's going to be dust everywhere. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's do it. Downstairs, there's a lot of action as well as the boys prepare for the plumbers to come and do the floor heating, which is a big process in a very big area. So the first First step is to lay down the foil which reflects the heat back up then they put the mesh down which covers the whole floor and the tubing clips onto that and lays down in a snake pattern so this is the tube where the water flows through gets heated up and then heats the floor underneath it the other big decision here i'm using a voiceover sorry the mic dropped out but we're going to do the extension we weren't going to do that but now we are so it's a big job i can't wait to see this lots of action today Ever. <laughs> Big day in the house renovation today. The floor is going in. So we've laid all the foil down and we're putting the water heating in. So they're gonna attach to all of these things. It's looking very David Bowie in here. Very cool. And then in a couple of days, they're gonna pour the um, masonite on top of that, which is about four centimeters thick. So that's gonna be really fun too. Today I'm putting some paint remover on the stairs and this is very ugly paint because everyone's been grabbing it over the years to duck their head under the stairs because it's been so low. So it's covered in oil and stuff. So I figured if I just put some of this on here, I can peel it off like I did for the rafters. It's very smelly though. But you just paint it on, you let it dry and then the paint peels off. Look at all, this is all hand marks here. That's oil from people's hands. So it's really disgusting. There we go, just like that. And then we'll come back later and scrape it off and it'll be nice wood underneath. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it as raw wood or if I'm gonna paint it again, but either way, I'm just gonna get this paint off and make a smooth surface, sand it, and then I'll decide depending on what it looks like. So have a look at this. This is where everyone was putting their hand over and grabbing. So that's all oil from dirty fingers over the years. And then you can see on the top, on the other side where I've already started painting earlier, it's starting to peel. So the chemical process is working. It's peeling the paint off. So that's really cool. But uh, yeah, we'll keep going and get all this filthy paint off over here. Just blob it on nice and thick. There we go. Get it in there. Lovely jolly. Work our way up. So you can see now it's starting to work. The chemical process is peeling the paint off the wood, which is good, but you gotta leave it for a while to let it dry. But as I was doing that, I realized that I've still got this side of the stairs to do. So they're pretty crusty as well. I'm not too sure if I'll just sand them or I should put more chemical process on there. Well, while there's no carpet on here, I think it might be easier just to do the chemical process and that'll get a smoother finish in the end. Because if I paint over the top of this, you can see it's pretty crusty. There's lots of chunks in there because I think it's been painted over several layers. So it might get a smoother finish. So I think I'm gonna actually have to do that, all right? 
Here we go. <laughs> So I've done some vacuuming and that's allowed some time for this to dry. The other way you can do it with the, if you want to do it faster is with a heat gun, but I needed to do the vacuuming anyway. So I thought I'd just let it happen naturally. So you can see it's all started to peel up. It's really crusty and really flaky. But the sad news is like, have a look at this part. It's only gone through one layer. So it's good that the white layer is gone, but now I've got the brown layer of paint underneath it. And I don't know, maybe there's another layer of paint under it. And this stuff is not cheap. And I don't know why it doesn't go through two layers of paint at the same time it's really frustrating so yeah i'm gonna have to peel all this off now and then do it all, all again which is just a pain in the bum <sighs> didn't want to have to do that okay i need my mask so i'm just gonna heat it up and make the process go a bit faster with the heat gun it's actually a cool little right here ready you can see it happen The next step is you get this tool, which is really handy. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna do this job, you have to get this tool. It's like a triangle, very sharp blades on either side so you can get into all the corners. But this is kind of like a pleasure thing. So we can just start at the top and mm. just drag that. And it's just literally peeling off here. So easy, just without any effort really. So that's all come off nice. I'm gonna vacuum all that up. There we go. So this is all the old paint. Just coming off, nice and good. So I've got a bucket over here to catch it to so stop it falling down the stairs, but yeah, seems like there's two coats on this one and I'm gonna have to do another one. These bottles are about 20 euros, which is about, you know, 20 US dollars for a tub and I've used one tub just on this coat here, so it's quite expensive, but it does save a lot of time in doing the sanding. It's kind of worth it, but I wish it went through more than one layer at a time, because if you've got multiple layers like I do, the paint to get through, it takes forever. All right, so I'm gonna do this for a while. I'll come back to you guys. Now, up in the rafters, they had paint on it and it took me days and days and days to get the paint off there. And I think I've just opened up an even worse can of worms here on the stairs because the first layer was white, under that's the brown. And then under the brown, you've got like a reddish burgundy and then under that, you've got a gray. So I've got way more layers to do and it's taken ages to get off and I have to scrape it off and sand it perfect to start it again in all of these little nooks and crannies like in there i'm gonna have to have it perfect in there in there all the way up in there oh my gosh look at it have a look at it here so many layers of paint i should have just painted over the top of it oh my gosh i'm gonna be here for days and i have to get it ready because all the paint's falling downstairs they're coming to do the floor so i have to get it done sanded and finished like immediately now oh my gosh i've opened up a can of worms i wish i hadn't have done this should have just painted over the top of it like the last 30 years that people did okay i'll see you in 10 years oh my gosh so it's starting to get dark and i've only done this one bit of stairs to here i've still got the whole other side to do and when i say dark Done, done with the first coat of paint. I have to go paint it again with the paint remover and then re-scrape it and then sand it. So I'm gonna be here for a long, long time. So I'm gonna <laughs> just stick to this and then I'll see you back tomorrow. But what I was meant to be doing is sanding the uh, walls up in here in the attic to get ready for painting. So this has really slowed me down. I really don't need to be doing this. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do the first layer, clean this off and then I'll do the rest another time because I've, I've got to get that done first so we can move in. To the staircase i'm here again as you can see it's not quite finished there's still another coat on there so i'm gonna do that later because if i finish now with all the builders going on they're probably going to get their handprints on the raw timber and then i'll have to re-sand it over and over so i'll just leave that for now and downstairs i'm going to take you down to show you the plumbing so let's go see the plumbing you can see it from here there we go so the plumbing from the floor heating is all finished it comes out from there and and it goes all through the floor, all the way out here. So that all gets heated up and uh, heats up the floor underneath it. 
So as you can see, all the floor heating pipes are in and what happens is the water gets pumped through these, it gets heated up and the pipes heat up the cement that's around it. We're not having sand cement, it's a thing called magnesite and the magnesite is like a, a liquid mulched up wood. So it's a lot lighter for the floors Then that heats up the room. So that's how the floor heating is going to work. I'm going to get back upstairs today. I'm doing something very tricky that I've never done before painting. It's a tip from Henny. So if it doesn't work, Henny, this is on your head. But let's go see if we can get this trick to work because it could save us a few days. Okay, so here's the genius or crazy idea from Hanny. So what he's suggested to do to save time is you buy one of these, which is like a garden hose with a spraying sprout on it. And then you buy this, which is a primer. So you pour this into here and then spray it on the walls very lightly so that it doesn't run and that seals the plaster so that then you don't have to do the primer. And it's much, much, much faster. So instead of taking probably at least two days to do a coat of paint, this will take about three hours to do this rooms and the attic. So I'm gonna try it here first, which is the cupboard, because this is gonna get built in, so it doesn't really matter if I mess this up. So I'm gonna practice here, and hopefully it, it looks pretty good. And if it messes up, it won't matter, because it's gonna be built in. So let's give it a go. Hanny, this is on your head, mate. <laughs> now the first step is to get this in, pour this in without making a mess. Let's see how we go here. That'll be enough. I don't want to be too heavy that I can't lift it. Weird stuff. Have a look in there. Yeah, it looks like. Have a look in there. Looks pretty furry in there, doesn't it? Whew. I'm taking a risk here. <laughs> Okay, now is the time to test it. And I think I'm gonna do it on the floor first. Ooh, just spray it out. You want to miss, so I'm gonna turn it the other way. Oh, that's the opposite of what I want. That's the mist. Oh, this looks dangerous. Oh, it's leaking out of here. I'm losing pressure. Let me tighten that up. Okay, so we've done the tester. I've got the mist setting on. It's a little bit drippy. Um, so we're gonna just spray it. And then Hanny also said, if you get any runs, you have to roll it with this. So I've got this right here handy. So this is the spot. Let's try it. I'm gonna go here. Okay, so I've taped up the electricity outlet so I don't get electrocuted. Now let's give it a go here. I'm not sure how far away, so I'll just start further about. So that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't want to do it thicker than that. I think I'm just going to do it that and I think that looks all right. So you can see here, a little bit wet there and that's not running, so that's good. But there is, there is some splash marks down there, so maybe I have to roll those ones. I'm not sure. If this is that fast, it's so much easier, so I think it's actually working. I'm just not sure about these things here, those overspray bubbles, whether that's gonna be a problem or not. In terms of painting time, it's so fast. Look at this. I'll just keep it a distance, work my way down lower. And I'm not, I'm not covering the wood because I'm going to sand that later. So that, that's, that's wet now. Okay, so I think I'm going to continue on with this one. Nice one, Henny. Oh my gosh, I've continued on with it. I'm so nervous about this. Like, I've got wet patches here where it's thicker and it's sprayed there and it's leaving all these designs in the roof. And I hope this doesn't show up on the, on the paint. Super nervous about doing this. I don't know if it's gonna be like a major mistake. I've got the fresh paint, perfectly sanded, brand new plaster. And if I do this and it comes out wrong, oh man, it's gonna really suck. Hair. I might have to put the hood on. Not the hair. 
So I found the trick is you pump it up not too much and you just keep going. You hold it down and you don't start and stop with the trigger and that keeps a nice even flow without the drips. At least I hope. That's after my five minutes of experience doing it this way. And not too much pressure. Okay. So if you have a look here, I don't know if you can see it in the light. This wall is the first wall, which is already dry and it's nice and smooth. So that's good. Good sign. So I'm going to go for another coat now. The roof still has a lot of pattern in it. So I hope it doesn't stay like that. I'm super nervous about this. I've painted many houses before and now I'm trialing something in my own house. I feel crazy for doing it this way, but I'm in such a rush. We've got about three weeks now before the baby comes. So this will save me a lot of days. Like if I had to paint it with a real primer, it's gonna save me days and a lot of money. This thing is like $20 a bottle and I've just done the whole room. So time and money. So I'm gonna give it a try. But again, Henny, this is on you. Okay, so it's been some time and I've painted it here and I've left it dry. I'm a little bit worried because it was getting messy. I've got some like splash marks coming up and it dries so fast, it doesn't really give you a chance to, you know, get it in time. It's dried now, you can see over here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it on camera. Here you can see like a, two marks coming down there. I've got one coming down under here as well. Hard to see now that it's dried, but when it was wet, you could really see it. And no matter how far you get to it with a roller it just dries so fast so i'm not sure how it's going to come out i'm really really worried at this point it's like the house the dream house my first ever house it's all brand new and if i mess up this it's going to ruin everything everything's going to look ugly so as a plan what i've decided to do is get a kebab <laughs> and then i think what i might do is actually paint that room and just see what it looks like with a coat of paint on it. And if it looks all right, then I'll continue on with it because I did the hall as well. If I do the whole house now and it looks terrible, it's too late to go back. So I want to paint one room with the white paint over the top, see what it looks like. If it's terrible, then that's going to suck for that room. And uh, I'm just going to have to live with it, which is our bedroom. So it's going to make it extra worse, but at least I wouldn't have done the whole house with it. So uh, let's eat a kebab and then we're going to go back and paint the room. It's funny because yesterday, we're three weeks till the baby's due now. Could come any time in the next five weeks. Yesterday we bought a car seat for the baby <laughs> and a pram. So we're leaving everything to the last minute. I've just been so busy trying to get everything ready. And that's why I tried this method for the primer to save a lot of time. But hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. Alright, I'm gonna eat my lunch and I'll see you guys in a bit. I tell you what, it's absolutely crazy how one thing leads to another. I was about to get started painting and I had one of these things, which is the paint dish, and I broke it. And then I went to the store and they were sold out of them. <laughs> so I had to go to the other store to get them. So now I've got some paint rollers and I can actually begin. But talk about wasting time on trying to get something small done. And I also got a sample of other white paint, which is this one, which I got told recommended to change the one I bought into that one because it's a bit... I don't know, warmer or something like that. The one in this can of paint is pretty white white. So I'm gonna do a little stripe of that on the wall and see which white I like best. But let's try and see if this came out good. So it's time to get painting. I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I'm a bit stressed that this um, primer technique of Hanny's is working. But as you can see, I'm losing light, it's getting dark. I've gotta get a hurry on, so up the ladder, here I go. Alrighty. This is my giant can of paint that I've got. So it just says white or wit matte. So it's a matte finish. And I don't know if you can see it on this camera here. I've just paid a little bit of the sample one, which is the white 916 color tester. And I painted a little bit just there. So I'm gonna paint with the big one that I bought, compare the two. If I don't like the big one, I'm gonna take it back and get it changed into the other one. But for now, let's paint this wall and see how it turns out. Fingers crossed. Come on, I hope you work, Henny. Come on, you good thing. The other thing that they do over here that I haven't done in Australia with painting is they get a knife and cut into the edge of the corner and then they put it with the kit or the silicon to stop it from cracking because the edge is cracking the plaster. We don't have this thick plaster in Australia, so I've never done that before. So I have to do that now, I've just realized. So that's going to slow me down even more. I'm worried that if I don't do this in time, the glue in this is going to block the nozzle and then it won't work anymore. <laughs> so, all right, I better get onto that. Now, I'm gonna start cutting the edges. Might need a ladder. I'll be back. All right, take the 
pressure off. <laughs> okay, good. I'll bring you over for a look at my work. Starts off at the top pretty good. And then down here it gets a little bit crusty. A little bit crusty there. Down here is looking all right. That's nice and smooth. Sorry about the light. And now I've just got to dab my finger in the wet cloth, like so, and just wipe it along to get the excess bits out. I honestly don't think there's any excess in here, so I'm just gonna do it from this one. Okay, got a bit on my finger there, so. Just gonna write that on the dunny roll. Get that off. Wet on my finger again. And now I'm off the ladder, it's a bit easier. Perfecto mondo. I've finished sealing the gaps and now I think I've run out of time because that has to dry before I can paint the corners. But it is looking pretty good over there. The corners are looking nice and sealed. But what I want to do is just paint some of the paint that I've got on the wall next to this one, on this spot and that spot. And then I'm going to take some home and show it to Nikki as well. I'll come back tomorrow, have a look in this room, see which one I like the most because it's getting dark now. It's hard to paint when it's this dark, especially if I want to see the condition of what it looks like. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow, which puts me a day behind, but I think it's necessary to check that this is, is good enough. I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in which I just bought, probably can't find. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's my cheap paintbrush. See if it does the job. Dip a little bit in here. It's paintbrush versus a roller, but should be, oh, the other one's looking real gray there now. So I think that's it for tonight. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow and hopefully with a nice sunny day, we can finish this whole level off. That'll be so good. All right, see you tomorrow.